This is my Zortrax M230 printer, and a few days ago I noticed my prints were stopping halfway through, and an error message appeared on the LCD display saying that the heat bed temperature is too high. According to the manual that appears to be error number 12, meaning that the heat bed thermistor has detected too high heat bed temperature, and the solution is heat bed cable replacement. Well, I checked the cables and they seemed fine, so I tried replacing the entire heat bed and I still had the same problem. I'm going to include the mistakes that I made throughout this repair process so that you don't make those same mistakes. Removing the bottom metal plate reveals the electronics that control the 3D printer. The black circuit board is the motherboard. I removed the motherboard and saw that a potential issue was the power transistor that appeared to be controlling the heat bed. You can see a yellow gold tint on the metal that the transistor is soldered onto, and flipping the board over reveals a black charged substance, which I assume is the plastic enclosure of the transistor that melted. I tried to remove some of it with a Dremel sander, but in hindsight that was probably useless and might have even caused more damage than I was intending. I removed the broken transistor, but in the process accidentally ripped off a metal contact to the base pin. I soldered a wire to the resistor that the contact was connected to, and soldered on a MOSFET power transistor I found on an old circuit board. Unfortunately, when I put the motherboard back in the 3D printer, the MOSFET started smoking. I went to the datasheet for the transistor that was originally on the motherboard, and it turns out to be a high current MOSFET, part number STB120NF10. The MOSFET I installed probably didn't have the right current tolerance, and I couldn't find any transistors in my bin of junk circuit boards that were high enough current, so I ended up ordering a similar power MOSFET, part number STB120NF10T4, and I attempted to install that. Unfortunately, I apparently didn't learn my lesson last time, and I ripped off another metal contact. This time, the contact that was attached to the resistor leading to the base of the transistor. And this component was so small that there was no way that I could solder on a wire to it, now with the tools that I had at home. After a fair bit of effort, I managed to get a reading on the resistor, and it appears to be 10 ohms. I went back to my bin of circuits, and I looked for a 10 ohm resistor replacement. I couldn't find any, but I did find two resistors that were roughly 5 ohms, so I soldered them together in series and used that as a replacement. I took the new MOSFET and I soldered it onto the motherboard. Just like last time, I had a bit of trouble soldering the back of the transistor to the large metal surface on the motherboard, but managed it by dropping a large amount of solder onto the metal surface and dragging it onto the MOSFET. I put the motherboard back in and started it up and tried printing a new piece, and it actually worked. There were two important observations I made, however. On startup, the heat bed seems to automatically heat up. I cut the video off at around 130 degrees Fahrenheit, but I think it probably would have gotten a bit hotter. I don't remember, but I don't think that the heat bed should heat up at the beginning. It might. The second observation I made was that after my hour long print finished, I checked the temperature of the transistor and it wasn't too hot. So I think as long as I don't keep the 3D printer on for days, it should be okay. And since the printer can still detect thermal runaway on the heat bed, I don't think it's too much of a fire hazard. Although I definitely won't be leaving it running while I'm away.